nice. How's she going today? Well, I'm seeding my canola today. I, uh, I spent all of well, the last, well, ever since that stock video with the sprayer there, that's what I've been doing is spraying. And Antoine was seeding his canola, his half. And uh, got that done yesterday, so now I'm on to my, uh, my three quarters here, but I, uh, I was, I had started across the road there, you can kind of see the half ton, and uh, tried to seed into it there, we had used the Massey and the flex header to combine it, and I never had the stationary knife and the chopper, but I figured out oh, just soybeans are just sticks, shouldn't uh, be too bad for trash. But yeah, I went about 50 feet and it plugged the whole elevator, turned it into a drag. So this side of the road got done with the uh, uh, John Deere combines that had Redicop choppers because this was land that was rented out that I took back now. But yeah, going through this a hell of a lot better. So other, I've got a friend of mine uh, working for me right now while his... Uh, Drilling rig is shut down. He's been picking rocks and harrowing, so he's gonna get the 50-20 in the harrows and come over and harrow that. So it should work good after he gets harrowed once anyways. But seeing my camera there, I'm getting fairly low on seat, so I'm up to 38.7 acres there. And uh I should do about 45, give or take. But I probably won't do quite that many because I don't feel like uh, climbing inside the tank and swooshing the canola around. I'll just go get a couple more bags and top it up again. But yeah, so that's what's happening today anyway. So, I'll probably make another round around this slough, I think. And I have to go get a couple more bags of seed. Used to be an old yard there, way back in the day. Long, long, long time ago. This field's actually kind of neat. The one slough, you can't really see it because of the cattails now, how tall they are this year. If a guy burned it, you'd be able to see it, but kind of on the bank of the one slough, you can kind of see the cattails there. It's not that slough, but way over in the other corner, there's still kind of a foundation of a sod house from a pioneer when they were settling all this. That's kind of neat, I thought. And in our pasture at home, there's uh, teepee rings and a whole bunch of rocks with uh, the little holes drilled in them from uh, starting fires with sticks. There used to be a lot of natives that uh, came through there following the creek going down south to the states and following the buffalo. There's a bunch of buffalo wallows too. So yeah, so you get the prairie settlers house just over here and quarter of a mile away there was a native tribe settlement so probably why he sh set up shop there maybe to trade with or something I'm not really sure but anyway I guess I'll talk to you again in a little while the next day well here we are on day number two of this field I'm at hundred and thirty acres now and I only had three flat tires yesterday, so fuck, not bad, eh? <laughs> so that's four that have let go on this thing this year now. I don't know what the hell, why it's so hard on them right now. I guess it's just one of those kind of years. It's a year for tires, I guess. But yeah, I had one on the dual caster and then uh, one on the wings there, the one on each wing or whatever, but. Oh, and, and, and the Harrows yesterday had one blow out on the way here too. So I had four yesterday. Fuck. Ah, hell of a day, eh? <laughs> anyway, we're at her again today, so. Gotta try, I'm gonna try to get this half done. I don't think that's too far out of our grasp. Because there's probably only 100 acres left. You do about 11 acres an hour. I figured out yesterday, so at five mile an hour, so that is what's on the agenda for today. So 
Sounds pretty exciting, eh? I never really showed you yesterday either. My camera here, there's the canola in the tank, but change the channel. There we go. And I've got one up on the back of the uh, up on the back of the tank there. And that allows you to see your packers in case you get a rock caught in one. Because as you can see when you're sitting in here, you can't really see your packers. So that's what that's for. But I, uh, me and Antoine went and picked up our soybean seed this morning. And uh, I'm going to go to town and pick up our liquid and granular inoculants for it. Put my new acre counter on that other drill. And uh, goal is to be seeding soybeans before today's out. So, when I talk to you again next time, it'll uh, probably be coming to you live from the uh, seat of the 835. So, I guess we'll talk to you again here in a little while. One eternity later. Well, we're in the 835, but uh, we're not seeding anything. <laughs> I'm actually using the uh, old Burgo here to run a fire guard around the next field of uh, canola that we're going to be planting here. I was saying yesterday how uh, I couldn't pull the air seeder through it, the flexic oil, because it kept plugging up with all the uh, all the soybean shit. So we've raked, raked it all up in the windrows with the harrows. And I'm gonna come along here tonight with the quad and uh, and the big tiger torch and burn the whole works of it. So that's what's going on right now. So I've got a little bit caught in there now. So lift the wings up a little bit to get her to fall out. There it goes. Perfect. But yeah. So the next time I talk, you know, there's gonna be one hell of a big fire going on probably. <laughs> this video is really, it's one thing to the next, to the next, to the next, eh? <laughs> but this is more or, left, more or less the life in the day of me, I guess. You never know what's gonna be happening next. So, anyways, we'll talk to you again in a little bit here. Twelve o'clock midnight. Well, now it's uh, just about midnight. And we didn't burn anything as the wind came up way too much. And I was just at the house having a shower and Antoine phoned and said the tractor wasn't, uh, is kind of surging. And that usually means it's out of fuel. <laughs> fuel gauge doesn't work in the tractor. I don't think I've ever seen an old versatile the fuel gauge works in, so. Anyway, I ran him some fuel out and he's gonna finish here. He's got, oh, maybe 10 acres left he figures so that's how we're gonna end the evening anyway I got him fueled up again and he is gonna finish that and tomorrow morning we'll continue back with uh, getting the soybean cedar ready to go since we never got that other quarter burnt or anything yet we won't uh, be able to seed that uh, Uh, tomorrow like I wanted to because it's not burnt but it's probably not the worst thing that it's gonna be well they're calling for rain and everything here for the next couple days so it won't be the end of the world if it's a uh, few days behind the rest of it because otherwise you're gonna have a whole section worth of canola that needs to be swathed at the same time so anyways I'll leave him to it Hit that like button and subscribe for more. And we'll see you in the next one.